All right, here's a little demo of how I would create a um, request in Content Snare, which we could then save as a template. <coughs> this is an existing, um, it's actually a Beaver Builder Power Pack uh, page template. So this is not actually a complete website. It's missing the navigation area and the footer at the top and bottom. Um, but I'll include those in the template. Um, so, basically, uh, I'll just start at the top. So, I've already called it Lawyer 2 because it's the Lawyer 2 uh, page uh, template from Beaver Builder. Doesn't matter about the client and project, It'll be different uh, for you. Um, so, given it's a single page website, I'm just going to call the first tab, first and only tab, home page. I'm not going to need any uh, tab instructions. Um, and yeah, so first section, main navigation. Um, in this case, um, because it's a single page thing, we'll probably just have some links up here that scroll down to the various sections like services and team, etc. Uh, so we don't need that. All we're really going to need is the logo for the top left corner. So I will ask for a image upload of their logo. I don't need to set any limits. Um, what I might do here though, actually no, next section. So that's that's the main nav. Um, we're going to create a new section which will be called the header. Uh, might call it hero header, but a client's probably not going to know what that means. Um, so, sorry, just to go back to this, the logo. Uh, you, If you might want to set limits, like if um, your client just to prevent them uploading something too big or too <laughs> too small, you might set a minimum size. Um, but yeah, that's totally up to you. And the header, now we're gonna do the background image first. So I'm gonna say um, background image. And um, soon there'll be instructions enabled on sections, but right now they're only on fields. So I'm gonna put the instructions in for the first um, <clears throat> field in this section. So soon, um, we're having some bugs at the moment, but we can't get this working on every browser, but you'll be able to copy uh, like that and just paste directly into here. But it's currently not working. Um, so for now, I've just split this up manually into some files. So I'm gonna drop that in and say, um, you know, this is the instructions for the client. Um, this is what the header will look like. The following fields relate to this whatever you want to say. Um, now, so the background image, in this case, like I might ask for a um, an image upload, but um, this client is actually wants to pick stuff from um, deposit photos. So they're just going to drop in a URL directly. Um, so I might say that here, image put in the deposit photos URL and I can't spell. Um, so it would actually, obviously this would be a lot nicer once we have the section instructions and then this, the image and that can go up here. And then the instructions for this would literally just say for the background image, put in the deposit photos URL. Uh, so that obviously needs some cleaning up. All right. So next thing uh, in this header area, we're going to have a main headline. So we're gonna have a single line text of main headline. Uh, now, if you wanted to, you could say instructions like, uh, this is where it says, um, realize your blah, blah, blah. Right, so um, I'm not gonna bother with doing that for the rest of this example. <coughs> um, but that's how you can use instructions. So I'm gonna add another one for, actually, uh, we might make this multi-line text just in case they wanna put a bit more. Um, subheading. And then we're gonna have this little form on the right-hand side. So, um, might keep this pretty simple. I'll say uh, form title or form heading. Uh, and button text. And um, for the fields, I might just leave this as a pretty free input for the uh, for the user. So we could do something like multi-line text, 
and say, um, what fields would you like in the contact form? Um, default are name, email, and phone. If you want to add any more, put them in below. Um, which would be optional. All right, so that is, that's the header. So now we're gonna add a new section for services. Be self-explanatory. Uh, and then, so we're gonna have three services. Uh, there's going to be a heading, a blurb, and an icon. So we're gonna say service one icon. Uh, let's say we do an image. And then we'll do, so actually there's another thing worth mentioning too, is soon uh, we'll be able to have a little repeater section. So we, instead of having service one icon, service two icon, service three, uh, you'll just be able to allow clients to um, put in multiples of the one thing. So you could have a group that's like icon, uh, a service, which is an icon, a heading, and a blurb, and then just have a, allow them add as many services as they like. Um, but that's not built in yet. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do single line text and go service one heading, service one blurb. You know what? I just realized that I forgot to put in the instructions. So we're going to go here and add in the services. Uh, this and say this is the services section. The fields below relate to this. You might want to be a bit more helpful with your clients as this is just a demo. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll keep going with that. I'm gonna uh, pause here and, um, cause you don't need to see me add all of these. Right, so I've just repeated <clears throat> repeated the uh, image for the icon, single line text for the heading and multi-line text for the blurb. If you wanted to allow them to add formatting in there, you might change that to a formatted text, which is uh, like a WYSIWYG editor, if, you, if you're familiar with that. What you see is what you get. So then they can, you know, it allows them to add bold and that kind of thing, kind of like the instructions box here. It's, it's uh, enables them to put in dot points and that sort of stuff, which you probably don't want for this. That's why I just left it as multi-line text. Um, I, oh, oops, I've missed that one. I also think um, one thing I missed here is that I did not add the ability for them to put in the main heading for our services. So I'm gonna add a new field, drag this up to maybe, I'm just using the mouse wheel while I drag and drop. Um, I'll say our services heading, easy. Um, all right, cool. So then we're under the testimonial section. Uh, as you can see here. <coughs> um, all right, so I'll add the instructions to show them what it's gonna look like. And uh, we'll say testimonial text, might allow some formatted text on that one. Um, then we'll need a name. Um, and we're going to need the image of the person. Headshot. Cool. Uh, in this case, the client is not having the meet our team section, so we're going to ignore that. I'm going to go down to packages um, and add a new section called, you guessed it, packages. Uh, we'll add instructions again. Um, I'm gonna add some fields here. Um, actually, I'll start with main headline. Or, um, our packages headline. Um, now, it really depends. You might want to do this all as one field, right? So. Um, might be simple enough in this case to go just add one formatted text box and say, um, list all the details 
for your packages. So you, you don't necessarily need to lock them into, you know, you don't need a field for every one of these or you don't need the name and the price. Um, so I'll just say include name, price, um, and options. And then I might say button text. Or subscribe, uh, sign up, button text. All right. Uh, and then finally, we've got the call to action. And with some instructions. And we're going to have a call to action headline subhead and button text. Right, um, what we might also have in this case, which is not included here, is a footer. Um, and we might just have uh, contact info. Uh, you know, this is really gonna depend on the client, um, but I'm just gonna leave it as formatted text for now. You might also pop something in like uh, privacy policy if you're just going to have a link down there with a little pop-up. Uh, you might allow them to paste their um, privacy policy in. Uh, optional. But yeah, this is really going to depend on, on the needs of your client. You might even keep it really open like anything extra you want to keep. Um, you would like in the footer. It's a formatted text. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So now that's um, automatically saved, as you can see up there. That's in a weird spot. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so you could now save this as a template to reuse on other clients. So hopefully that's um, helpful on how to set up a template.